Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a CPA lead account so that you can start making money online. CPA means cost per action. This means that you'll make money when someone else completes an action. What I'm going to do is show you a step by step on how to create a CPA lead account. I'm going to show you how to create a CPA lead account, how you can verify the account and how you can get paid. To get started, just go to any browser and search for CPA lead. This is the Google search engine results page. So just click on the first link on the page that will direct you to the CPA website. To create an account, just go to sign up. There are two ways to sign up. You can either use a Google account, that is a one-click sign up, or you can either fill in your, use the email sign up whereby you will fill in your details. I recommend you just go ahead and fill in your details. Let me fill in my details. After you are done filling the information, just click on submit. Once you have submitted your information to CPA lead, they will redirect you to the terms and conditions page. Read through the long list of agreements. Make sure you read and understand because if you break any of these agreements, then your account will be suspended. When you are through with the reading, scroll down and check the box here to confirm that you have read and that you agree with the terms and conditions above. So I'll check mine and then click on submit. Congratulations, your account is immediately activated and available for use. You are now signed up and well on your way to earning money from your digital. So your account is created. So what you need to do is go to your dashboard. What we need to do next is verify our account. You can see here we have a verification notice. Your email has not been verified. So what you need to do is go to your email and sign and log in and check the email from CPA lead so that you can be able to verify by just clicking on the link there. So what I'll do is I'll pause this video, go to my email and then verify and I'll come back to continue the tutorial in a few seconds. I've copied the link from my email so I'll just paste it here then it will verify my email. So you can see that my email is now verified. Let me close that. Let me close that. Now, you need to get paid. What you need to do is add a payment option. So to add a payment options, just go to your account here. Then click on payments. Now, here you can find some payment information. The following issues must be resolved before payments can be made. No payment methods has been selected. You must submit your payment form before you can receive any payment. This information must be provided. So to do that, just click on visit extra payment info forms and here you will find two forms which must be filled. We have the tax form W8 online form, that is a tax compliance form and the online compliance certificate. So let's start with the first one that is the tax compliance form. So just click on it and it will open here. So what you need to do is fill in the details here. So we have a few details here. So let me just start by filling the details. If you are a US citizen or you possess a US passport, then you can go ahead and provide your social security number here or your high TI number or your high EIN. Now, if you are a foreigner, it is optional for you to provide a tax ID. So, scroll down up to the bottom part where I will submit my signature. So, let me just submit my signature and then I'll click on sign and submit. You can see that my tax form W9 is complete. So what I need to do next is fill in the online compliance certificate. So I just click on the online compliance certificate. And what I need to do here is just read through what is written here. After reading through, you just sign in here. So you can just sign in with your signature again. So let me just sign and submit. Now, our two forms are already filled up. What we need to do now is add our contact information and our payment method. So let's start with our contact information. So we already have our name. We can add our company name. We can add your street name. Now our contact information has been added. What we need to do now is select our payment method. So there are a number of payment methods. We have PayPal whereby you can be paid a minimum of $10. We have Payoneer whereby you can be paid a minimum of 50 and you have the CPA lead account whereby you can send the money to another CPA lead account. 
We also have wire transfer, whereby your money will be sent to a bank and you must have a minimum of 75 and will be charged 25 dollars per any wire and that is requested by must be requested by a support ticket. You can also have direct deposit and this is only available for USA citizens and the minimum is ten dollars. You can also receive a check by mail. Let me add my payment details. And I want to be paid by PayPal, so I'll choose PayPal. Then I'll provide my PayPal email. Then I'll create a password. After that, then click Save Account Changes. Now here, I can see I have a notice. That is, your account information has not been updated yet. An email with a confirmation link has been sent to the address on your account. Once the confirmation link is clicked, the request the requested account preference changes will be made. So let me make the changes. I'll just go back to my email and make the changes. So I'll pause the video and go back to my email. I've already added my payment method. So let's go to payment and see. I've already added my payment method. So you can see my current balance here it's because it's, my, it's a new account. So you can start promoting offers by just going to the dashboard. And here you will find all offers. You can search by country here. Depending on where you want to promote, you can also search by type here, which one do you want to promote. You can also search by devices, or you can or by advertisers. Now, that's all about how to create a CPA lead account. If you found value in this video, then make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can receive similar tutorials. In the meantime, stay safe.